This is the introduction to the scoliosis starting point series. One of the most important things to know when taking a proactive approach to managing your scoliosis is knowing if a particular therapy is working for you. I measure my client's curves both before and after an exercise session using a scoliometer. I use Scoliometer by Spiral Spine, a downloadable app. I write the before and after numbers down on the scoliometer tracking chart to record a client's progress. This chart is available for free on the shop page on SpiralSpine.com. A scoliometer is a device that measures vertebral rotation. Think of this as the rotation of your rib cage. This is not to be confused with your Cobb angle, which can only be measured by an x-ray. The Cobb angle is the degree of your lateral curve. While they measure two different things, research proves that these two measurements are positively correlated. Meaning, if a therapy can decrease your vertebral rotation, your Cobb angle should decrease as well. Let me demonstrate this for you. We're going to pretend that this child's toy is your spine. Notice that there is a lateral or a sideways curve here and here. This is the equivalent of your Cobb angle, or what is measured in your two-dimensional flat x-ray. Now, there's also rotation involved here. The rotation goes down the spine like a spiral, a spiral spine. Now that is what is measured by a scoliometer. Let's see how they're correlated. If I squish this spine together, notice how both the lateral curve, the Cobb angle, x-ray measurement, and the spiral, the rotation, scoliometer measurement, increase. Now if I lengthen the spine back out, notice how all the curves, rotations, corresponding measurements, both x-ray and scoliometer, decrease. Let me demonstrate how to use a scoliometer. Pull up the Scoliometer by Spiral Spine app on your phone. You're going to keep the phone at a, at a perpendicular or right angle to the floor. Put your thumbs on either side of the phone. Anchor your thumbs and the phone to the base of the neck of the person who has scoli. The spine needs to stay in the middle of the phone, so the phone may have to move accordingly as it goes down the back. The person who has scoliosis is going to slowly round their back and reach their hands towards the floor. The phone will go down their back as they roll forward. Keep both right and left sides of the phone anchored on the back of, so the scoliometer can pick up the rotation of the spine. You'll notice the numbers on the scoliometer toggle as it goes down the spine. These are the rotational or scoliometer measurements of the scoliosis. Beautiful. Good, good, good. Remember the highest numbers on the right and left sides of the scoliometer. Write those down on the scoliometer tracking sheet. I highly recommend you watch the rest of the Scoliosis Starting Point series so you can become as educated as possible when starting your journey to better manage your scoliosis. I'm Erin Myers from Spiral Spine. Now go ahead and get your scoliometer to start learning which therapies and exercises work best for your body.